All right, guys, we're back. Break Room Blitz. Thanks for joining us. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. I'm my boy Conj over here. Now, last night, <laughs> epic night. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. He cried. I was rolling. <laughs> so, of course, we just got through seeing the season seven premiere of Walking Dead. Oh my god. If you didn't see it, I don't know where you are, where you've been. You're under a rock somewhere. You're yeah. going to watch it because this it's... No. Yeah. Epic night. <laughs> epic night because the, the last episode of season six that we got was just garbage. Oh, yeah. The producers even apologized to everyone because they were like, what the hell? Right. This is, this is just garbage. There's cliffhangers and then there's whatever that was. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and there's incomplete episodes. Right, right exactly. <laughs> so... So were you guys satisfied? Did they make it up for? Did they make up for last the last episode? Kind of, sort of. How about you? Kind of, sort of. I've got like a ton of mixed feelings about the episode. Exactly. Yeah. But I still like it. Ah, did it's it a, kind of redeem it for you. It did redeem it because I'm sitting here just still thinking like, what happened? Like I'm still like in awe. You're in it's, shock. Yeah, I'm just like. Did they... AMC had the guts! Okay, so... <laughs> did they do what you thought they were going to do? Your predictions... Uh, so my predictions when we did this last time was Abraham was the cop-out. He was the cop-out. And I figured they they didn't have the guts to do Glenn. And it was either going to be Michonne um, or, or, or Daryl. And... I was a Daryl theory. Yeah, yeah Daryl. He has right? a new show. Yeah. I thought it was going to be Daryl. I didn't think it was going to be Glenn. Just because I think they had the balls, like yeah, said. right, just, yeah. They wanted to make some money, <laughs> yeah, and that would have been a, a terrible way, especially since they ended the last episode of season six just badly. Yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah. I thought they were really going to try to make up for it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it was a cop out when I saw Abraham, and I, you know what? I, honestly, I wasn't expecting it. I just wasn't. <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't expecting it, and I was like. I knew it. They copped out. Yeah, when when they the first batter up came up and Abraham took it, and I'm just like, I'm like, yeah. I was like, I was sitting in my chair. I was like, oh, you guys suck. Like this, is, I sat back. I was just like, this is lame. But I mean, still even though it was so vivid, you still yeah. felt that well, way. Yeah, it was. So that's vivid. the thing. That's the thing. I was still like, like shocked about it because I was like, but they actually went through with it. Like, like I had never seen anything like that. I was that. like. Dude, yeah, well, he, he was crazy. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh! Oh, they, they, they actually did a really good job with it because it legitimately looked like he was whacking him with a bat. Like yeah. you saw the impact and you saw the bat bounce and back. I was just like, "What too, did they man. use for that?" Like, like, yeah. And then, like you know, he leans up and he's all take it like a tramp. And then, yeah. you know, he's like, "Suck my bra." And then, <laughs> yeah. like, he's like, Wha "Bam!" And he just keeps going. And you're like, right. "Whoa, this is getting crazy." Yeah. And it it, it like. Resonate? Well, maybe not resonated, but it, it it made me feel a certain way because I cannot imagine being hit like that. Oh no! From the top of your head? Yeah. No. You ever got nicked on the top of your head? Like what a uh, like a cabinet or something like that? Yeah. yeah. That like, shit oh. hurts. Yeah. Hey, that's just that felt like, just like that. We that's need a meme. <laughs> we need to come up with a meme. <laughs> no, here's a multi-million dollars. So underneath your cabinet side, we got to put this little frame that looks like Lucille underneath. <laughs> right, right, exactly Man. that. So that really like got me like, oh. Right. Right. Snap! Yeah. It was so crazy. And to still be like, suck my balls. Yeah. Like, I don't know what I'll be doing. I'll, I'll be like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, ow! <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> like, God damn it! Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't think suck my balls would have came up yeah. to my mind. But oh, yeah. so that's another thing. Do you guys think that the way that it went down was like realistic? Just to kind of give in to the situation? Ah oh, man, yeah, they're, they're, at the end being, they got him cornered. Being, yeah, I mean, you, it's like, what do you do? I, it, it was checked. And then, and then he says, like, if anybody does anything, cut the other boy's eye out and feed it to his dad. Like, what? I know, but like, all these guys standing behind him. Did you blame someone? Like, can you blame Daryl for wanting to just get up and punch him, even though oh, he no. still said, oh, no. anybody moves, cut his eye out and feed it to his dad. But uh, Daryl, I think. Oh yeah, no, Daryl did punch him, yeah. and then it was the second batting. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, so I, uh, I feel like you know what? It's it's an agreement. We all know what the outcome could be. Yeah. So we like soldiers. This is a you know dog eat dog world. I'm just not gonna sit there and let you hit me in the head with a bat. Uh, no, I no. can't. Like I'd have blocked it. We'd have been wrestling. I, you had to shoot me. Right. Exactly. I'm sorry. Yeah. His other eye would have to come out. I don't know, but I just can't sit there and be. 
kill like that. It, yeah. it really, it, it's really hard because like they, they like he definitely had them. them in checkmate. Because the thing is, it's like he literally told them, you know, if any of you move, if you do anything, everyone's gonna die. But, so but, but what's the, uh, what kind of man tells you so his word? Like if you move, I'm gonna kill you. It's like you're probably gonna kill me anyway, though. And the other thing exactly. too, I guess yeah. the other thing you could have really taken into sense is if they all said fuck it, like we're we're, we're in this, what? and right, they right, all right. went Just after Neo at the up. same time. Yeah. Their guys would have had to shoot there, and Negan would have ended up getting gnarled anyway. So I mean, but then it's again, that would have been the yeah. end of every character. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, I so, mean, uh, you got to do it for the story. If, if one character went up, maybe they would have got a shot at Negan because Daryl just got one shot, and it was it. Like it wasn't even like if Daryl could have just lunged at him and tried to do something, he wouldn't have had much time to do make do anything that had an effect. Yeah, you know, he they they took him quick, mm-hmm. and so that that's I mean, you got to think of it at that perspective too. And Daryl just. I'm glad he did it because, like, I'm sitting there going, like, oh, like, I just wanted. I'm if like, Daryl had anything like a yeah. knife or like a piece of glass or something, he could have oh, just like, done. bam, yeah, done his throat or something. Oh, yeah. yeah, man, the whole thing. I would like to think that I would be a soldier about it, and we would have to go down fighting. Yeah, but honestly, I don't really know because no one wants to die. Yeah, right. You know, and but like, if I'm seeing, if I literally saw like, like that happen, you know. And if he's like rallying up to go for like a second person, I'm like, okay, this is gonna happen to everyone, you know? There's no way out of this. Yeah. So uh, that's why I would imagine Daryl just like, oh, come on, if I if I go for a punch, you know, Rick is gonna come help me out. I know that. And, and know, Rick that didn't go. Time. And Rick didn't go. You know what I mean? It's perfect time for everyone to jump in. Yeah. But I mean, like, yeah, I mean, you got him cornered. It's like I don't want anything to happen to my son. You know? Oh, that's that's a hard one, you know. Yeah. So we got to go down it's, together. Well, I don't that's know. what I'm saying. It's one of yeah. those things where, like, if you were actually put in that position, to really think about it. If you were you were Rick, you were the potential Rick, and your son was right next to you, and he said, "If any of you do anything, mm-hmm. dead." That yeah. means you got to sit there and contemplate. My boy is right next to me. Yeah. And if you move out of frustration, your son's dead too. Man, we're all right. family, man. Uh, so, but that's we're what I'm all family, yeah, and I true. can't. I can't be upset at you if you wanted to fight back. Oh no, I would be. You can tell like, everyone was. What am I gonna do? Like, motherfucker, you gonna let them? You gonna do something? that gonna kill my son? Like, yeah. what am I? What we gonna fight now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. we would all just have to just go down. Yeah. I don't know. That's just. I feel like in reality, like, that's like what would happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <sighs> it's hard though. It's, it's really it's hard. A, it's a catch twenty two. It really is. And I, I'm glad Daryl did it. But then, like when they they put him down and nar- narked him, like I was just like, oh, there it is, Glenn. Yeah. I was waiting for I'm it. Not good. <laughs> Sorry, Daryl. Daryl, yeah. And then, yeah, I thought Daryl was Yeah, I thought it was going to be Daryl. I'm like, oh, here we go. Yeah. Now you right. had to do something. <laughs> Man, and yeah. that guy came up with that arrow. Like, he was, like, ready. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. He's when ready. we get him right now. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I, it, was, it was a very... Yeah. For me, I think they kind of made up for it. I think they had to give me two because... They messed up on that last episode. Yeah. I don't think two was in, in like, the script. Yeah. I don't think they had that in the in the works already. Okay. And on that episode, but since they gave us such a shitty last episode, right. yeah. that they had to. I would have rather liked to see Abraham go down in the last episode of season six. Yeah. Okay. And then Daryl start off with Daryl hits him, yeah. and then he says, "Oh." Now I gotta have another one. You shouldn't have done and that because then you now, get the the now, one you don't get the. Now your homie's yeah. gonna get it. Because now we're like, oh, but I honestly what? think that they yeah. didn't they didn't plan that because maybe they because maybe after the fact maybe they, after them realizing that they screwed up on the season they're like okay we gotta we gotta do two, and it, you know when we watched the um, you just you showed us today the uh, the Maggie taking it right yeah if you remember there's a scene where Rick is envisioning everybody taking the bat so they did film every single one get they, hit they, they had to film it right yeah, yeah. And that, that's the best way to kind of captivate it. so I think what, pro- what most likely happened was. They filmed it. They took the person that they were going to get. It was probably going to be Abraham only. And then after that, they realized we have to up it now. So we have this thing where I feel like no one listens to me. That's exactly what I just said. <laughs> but they didn't have that in the works. But since they gave us such a shitty one, they gave us two. <laughs> yeah. Like, just like, reiterating. Honestly, <sighs> like, you know what I think? I think that, like, for me, like, having the two of them go out, like, in one episode, it was overkill. And they have to make up for all like, of the... And initially, like, I was like, okay, they did the cop-out, and then when he turns over and he hits Glenn, I was like, whoa, hold on. I did not see that coming. No. I thought we were over it. Yeah. yeah. Like, I thought that I they, they would have gave Glenn a few more episodes to kind of mess up and then get on 
Negan's nerves and say, you know what? Right. Also, what's the bad name? Lucy? Uh, Lucille. 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 Yeah. Now Lucille got to eat again. Yeah. And that's what I thought was going to happen because, I don't know, just to let him go out like that, ah, I feel like it's almost a waste. But oh, I like to see stuff like that. So <laughs> yeah. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was still a waste. They could have gave us a little few more episodes and then they could have maybe come together, him and Maggie, and him trying to you know stir the pot a little bit. And then Negan was like, you know what? You're not a part of it. You, you're, not, you're not working out. Mm-hmm. And then he could have went, but I still enjoyed the episode, though. You know what? Like, I don't know if it's going to be a common trend with them now, taking out, like, more people at once. Because, I mean, we got, like, kind of like an outside of the core character and one of the core characters being Glenn. So, you know, maybe down the line they'll take out Daryl and, like, Eugene or, like, you know, Maggie and uh, Sasha or someone, you know? So what do you guys think about that whole come with me thing when he grabs when he Rick. grabs Rick. Yeah. Into the truck. I was like, this is your time, Rick. Oh, yeah. Go for it, man. You got that. He hatchet. tried. Like, he did. He actually did try when he but was it wasn't, in there, But he it didn't wasn't like... try in the right moment. He tried when Negan wanted him to try. Right. Yeah. Like, if he... That's... He's Negan was going to control that whole thing. If he would have grabbed the thing right then and there and then chopped him, he might have been... I mean, he probably would still die because everyone would probably killed him. But yeah, yeah. he would at least kill the leader. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That just... The fact that you just stopped and you saw the gun. Yeah. Like, you better just keep going. Like, it's not going to make you fly that. Right. Not a shot. I think more or less yeah. it might have been just... I, I mean, think about it. So, the thing is, the one thing Negan was... It's just proving the character of Negan. Like, granted, what you're saying is perfectly logical. Like, I'm just thinking, like, why didn't you just do it, man? You could have got a clean slice of the neck. Done. But that that random chance... That random chance Negan, Negan shoots him enough. Rick's dead. And Negan wraps up his neck, freaking drives back... And says, kill them all! You know, then you, you just you lost everything. You lost everything anyway. Huh? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I hear you. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm thinking of scenarios. I know this, we have to just go with what they write. Right, yeah. right, right, yeah, yeah. You know, but... But you gotta battle like what they gave you, you know? So, right. I mean, like, yeah. the only reason, like, Rick can't do much is because Carl's in that situation, yeah. you know? And ultimately, he would have to go back and get Carl, you know? And, I mean, when Rick was on top of that RV, and, like, he jumps to that zombie and tries to, like, I was thinking to myself, okay, what are you doing here, you know? Are you trying to get away? Like, was he trying to climb up on that rope where that zombie was to get away? Because, I mean, if he had the hatchet there, he should have just killed the zombie. Zombie's not going to do nothing. Now climb the zombie. Climb I think the he rope. was just I was actually scared. hoping that he was going to chop into the zombie put the guts all over him while he's up there. Just freaking start yanking out and shoving it all oh, over Oh, right, him. yeah. Fall to the ground. They ain't gonna touch him. Totally. And then he covert ops and, and banks out, you know, and yeah. finds a way back. Or and you don't think that Negan would see him? Oh, totally, but I'm just thinking, like, Negan would be like, where the fuck are you, Rick? And then, like, he's gonna be like, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he looks like a zombie, pretty yeah. much, yeah. That would have been awesome. That's yeah, actually one of my questions. Yeah. Would you guys have done anything different? I guess uh, that's that would be one way. <laughs> like you know, just uh, I would if that if, if that were the case. And I'm I'm Rick, and I'm like, okay, how can I win this game right now? How can I win this battle? Okay, I'm on this zombie, rip out guts, and I'm reiterating right yeah. now, go, and then fall down, kneel down, get lost in all those other walkers because there's a ton of them there, right? And then make Negan come out to me, start being like, where the hell are you, Rick? I'm going to count to three and just go up to the door and just start. Duh. And then he'll open it up right when he opens. Bam! Eat it, sucker! And be like, how do you like it? I hit you with the back of the axe. You want another one? And just keep going. I'm getting excited right now. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, no, I love that idea. And you know what? They've only done that a handful of times where they use the zombie guts as camouflage. You know? So I'm like, why aren't they doing that more often? You know? Uh, they use it in the Fear of the Walking Dead a lot. Yeah. So, when Negan throws the hatchet out, mm-hmm. does it look like he throws it up? No, he, he throws it out, and then the hatchet <laughs> goes from, like, the road to the forest, yeah, actually, to the yeah, RV. I was like, what? I'm like, where is yeah, this? There's a couple, of, yeah, there's a, there's a scene where Rick's on the, on the RV, and he's looking up, and the axe is right next to him. I'm like... What is going on, right? <laughs> yeah, that's something like, yeah. why, so, why are you up there? Why are you climbing up there? there yeah. was some and then he's there, I'm like, what? Yeah. And he jumps, jumps, I don't he think jumps he did off. this, you know. He jumps off into the, onto the actual zombie, and then I'm thinking, oh, he must have dropped it. How's he going to get it underneath all these dead zombies now? Yeah. And all of a sudden, he goes into the forest. I'm like, where are you going? And the hatch is over there. The hatch is over there. I'm like, what? 
I was like, I'm watching this live, so maybe I just didn't see something. Yeah. I wish I would have downloaded it so I can go back, yeah. but I can't. <laughs> so maybe I'm missing something, but you guys agree. Like, yeah, it was just yeah. Like, yeah. Like, no, uh, those are so some continuity errors there, but... What? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> they, did they make, you know, edits, like, differently? Or? They, pro- they yeah. probably did. They probably did a bunch of... I'm pretty sure they went through a lot of iterations of this before they put it out, because I just, I like... They had to. A lot yeah. of holes in that. I mean, yeah. it still didn't take away from it, but it was like, I saw that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think he threw it up. And you know, one, one question I want to bring up to you guys too was when Maggie started talking about like I need to go. Like, did you think? I thought she wanted to go after Negan. Like, it, it, do you remember that? Where she's oh like, yeah, at yeah, the yeah, end, at yeah. the end, and like I really felt for her when Glenn was getting it too. Like, because they did. I mean, the one beautiful, like uh, the beautiful thing in parallel, the comic books, they made Glenn look exactly like they did in the comic, like spot on. Yeah, but I just yeah. like. Brutal. I was really curious at the end because it seemed like Maggie was like, "I'm going after Negan," type of thing. And I was um, like, "No, you ain't doing nothing, right? Like, yeah, you're half you're dead like half already, dead. <laughs> and you didn't even get hit." <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of people when I was when watching the um, Talking Dead or whatever after the show, they liked that she was doing. It. I was like, "But that's just dumb." I, I think that it was more about emotions and not logic. Oh, definitely, yeah. And I'm like, "What? Tell first of all, you're telling us all go away. We're not gonna go away." Yeah. And then second of all, you want to keep going at it when... Do you not just see what just happened? Right. Like, do you want, do you want more of that to happen? Because I feel like you you must not have saw. Right. Because they just killed your man. Mm-hmm. And they were about to chop off this little boy's arm. Right, exactly. So, what? Oh, man. I totally thought they were going <clears> to <throat> chop off Carl's arm. Oh, yeah. I, I totally, totally like, thought. Because uh, I was like, okay, Rick didn't get his hand chopped off. And like he was like, your right hand, you know? And you know what? At first, I thought that too. That he was talking about, you know, oh, what's your, you know, what's what are you without your right hand, man? Yeah. And I thought that was because it was a metaphor for his actual right hand. Right. Um, but now that I realize that's not what he was talking about. Right. Um, yeah. But so, Negan. Yes. How's his performance for you guys? He's like a whole nother level of villain, you know, <clears throat> and like he's just like. There's, like, no remorse in him. I, I mean, like, you want to talk about, like, villain, hero to villain, villain complex? complex. Yeah. Ooh, he's got it. He's got it in bulk. It's, yeah. See, I, he reminds me of Cottonmouth a lot. He laughs. He's serious. Yeah. He has different facets to Sadistic, his personality. You know, you know it's twisted. not just all, like, anger and rage. Right. He's actually thinking of this thing. Like, he might actually be sorry for them. Mm-hmm. When he's like, you know what? Sorry about this. And that's the, that's Sorry you have to go through this. I gotta break you. Right. So they, you but know. from his perspective, you just killed probably, what, 18 of my guys? You blew them up with the rocket at first. Yeah, and the base. <laughs> and then you went into the base. So we're talking about over 18. It's probably about like 30, 40 people you would kill. Yeah. Right, yeah. You know, so I don't want to have to do this. Right. But you brought it up on yourself. You thought you were all big and bad. Mm-hmm. So now, well, it, it, regardless, I gotta feed Lucy. Yeah, well, Ooh, the, she's a vampire. At the same time, when Negan, Negan, what he used to do, what they typically did was they showed up on the doorstep of these strongholds, whatever they found, and yeah. regardless, you know, he he made an impact. It didn't matter whether or not they fought or they didn't fight. Like they, he, they even said Negan. That's what Negan does. He'll show up at your doorstep, say you're gonna get ration off what I say, and if you don't, I'm gonna come here and and show you why you're gonna do it. And then, and that's pretty much how he worked. And when it comes down to it, when he says, you know, I'm really sorry about this, you know, and, but he, like, right after he's, he's like, but I gotta do it with my word. Right. And it's just like, are you sorry? Because I don't feel it. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's just that, that unpredictability, like, they didn't even write. Like, they, they, if they didn't have him kill Glenn the way he did, then he wouldn't have been the Negan I read in the comic books, who was worse than the governor. And, you know, the buddy, my buddy, who my roommate, who was watching the, the show with, you know, I, I told him beforehand, I said, Negan's supposed to be worse than the governor. And he's like, well, we'll see. And then, like, literally, when he did that, when he when he knocked Glenn just the way he was, he's like, dude, this guy's a freaking douche. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> so it's just like, they did Negan right. Well, he is definitely totally worse than the governor. Because, I mean, the governor was trying to get you to like him. Whereas Negan is like, I'm going to force you yeah. to, like, I don't, I don't care if you like choice. me. But I'm- I... Like, I own you now, you know? It's going to be interesting to see what they do going forward. You mm-hmm. know, we got this episode, yeah, epic episode, yes. but now we have to build into his character and who he is. And I saw one of the previews where he's walking and all his followers just bend down on one knee. I'm like, hmm, that, what did they go through right. to, like, agree or feel like they had to do this? Because, you know, in history, every great king or ruler or whatever... No one's really 
there's always like there's some type of conflict. They either get stabbed by one of their you know constituents, or it's never like oh I need to bow down as soon as this person walks through. Yeah. Like what happened to where they but, just because even like when they all are lined up and he has his crew all around them, no one right. said shit. No, yeah, not one word. Not like oh yeah. nothing. Yeah. yeah, like what what happened? I really want to know what happened. How did he become like, in that like, position? Right, does God? Yeah. You know, uh, and, and, and it's funny that you say that, too, because, like, the only person, the only other person I can compare him to at this point is Rick. Yeah. Because really Rick true. is that leader. And, and, yeah. and, and it's different ends of the spectrum. You that got Rick, which down. is, like, a, like, kind of like a good leader, whereas Negan is, like, the evil, like, like I don't want to mess with him. I would rather be on his side. And Are you going to bow down as he's walking? I don't know. But that's, I mean, it's like, probably, may, it's probably, that's something way deeper than Rick. Maybe Negan has his own crew that was already pretty bad to begin with. You know, a bunch of badass gangsters. That's what I'm saying. I, we have, now we have to go further and see where they're going to yeah. bring it with. I, mean, I don't want to assume anything. If yeah. people are kneeling to you, you need to tell me why. You can't yeah. just say, I'm pretty, hey, sure, I don't I'm pretty sure they'll go more into depth of him. Because like, even the governor, they went more into depth with him. And his backstory too, which is interesting to do, but they they kind of made you feel for the governor. That was so boring when he went back into his backstory. I so did not care. I I was irritated (laughs) with that because I'm just like, just just make him a bad guy. Like, I mean, don't we don't need this transformed villain anymore? Like, just make him bad to be bad. So I'm hoping they don't do that with Negan right on this one. Yeah. Um, And uh, when you were saying about uh, him and Rick, definitely, I think the one thing is Rick does by necessity. Yeah. Where Negan does by control. That's the, those are the two different motives which separate the two. So the question is, what is because Rick has always had to revolve yeah. as a leader, and if he didn't evolve, he couldn't lead anymore. So I'm curious what he's going to evolve into next, because mm-hmm. he's got he, Rick's got to develop into the next stage. And not to mention, like I mean, I being think a comic Rick is, fan, a, is a wrap for this season. And he's broke. He's he is yeah. broken, and that's why I'm hoping someone else is going to have to step up yeah. and to get him to snap out of that, mm-hmm. and to to convince Rick that we can do it. But right now, Rick is broken, which is why I really liked what Negan was saying. Like, I don't think you do. You know what that trip was about? I don't think you do. Yeah, because you're still looking at me the same way. Same way. And then after he thinks that he's about to cut his son, when Rick thought he was going to have to cut his son's hand off. The look totally went away. It was just like awesome acting because oh, yeah. the looks were night and day. Yeah. Because at first I was like, well, what look did he, what did he want him to have? <laughs> that was it. Like, that's the one. That's the look. Yeah. Because I'm like, well, what look? Yeah. Like, how was he supposed to do like, 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 no, no, Don't, don't right. make me do this. Don't, 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 right. Like, Broken is what I'm looking yeah. for. Yeah. Not yeah. angry, not upset, broke. Right. And I was like, oh, that's a look. Yes. Okay, I got you. <laughs> I know now. Yeah, absolutely, man. Oh, so yeah. what are you guys looking forward to? You know, that that was the, the episode they gave us. What are you guys looking forward to? I mean, that really sets the season like really well oh, too. Because yeah. we're really gonna keep it up like that. I don't think they are. Uh, I think the next episode is gonna tone down because they've got to hit that grief part, that grievance. Um, I honestly think there's a couple things I'm gonna predict for this this next coming. Like I'm, I'm predicting, I'm hoping because in the comics, being a fan of the comics, uh, they're 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 about Carl. So I'm hoping for an uprising, Carl. I just don't know how they're going to do it because the kid's literally very scrawny. But at the same, I, I'm very curious. I don't think they are. I'm hoping for an uprising, Carl, because Carl's character in the comics is very dynamic and is awesome. And you know what? In this episode, it really showed Carl too because he was like the only one that wasn't crying. And I don't know, maybe it's because of his eye or whatnot. And like he even told his dad, "Just do it." Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like Carl, that's the big. That's why Carl was such a big Carl. Sorry, <laughs> that's for you, Christian. Uh, <laughs> we in the barn, Carl. <laughs> Carl. Um, but uh, in the, like in the comics, Carl's the only character in this entire series that grew up in this world. Yeah, he's the only one, and uh, aside from the last kicker. <laughs> um, and uh, we, one thing we didn't talk about was Daryl. Uh, Daryl getting taken away by Negan, and what my anticipation is for him is Daryl's gonna. I feel Daryl's gonna get off this season. I, I honestly feel like he is. But what's gonna happen is it's almost gonna be the same thing his brother did. His brother infiltrates, becomes part of Negan's crew, back alley with Rick, gets Rick in, and mm. bam, dies in the process of killing Negan whenever they decide to kill the dude. So that's my anticipation for him. Um, Rick, I don't know, but I feel like Morgan's going to have more to do with this season. Yeah. Uh, maybe even, I'm actually hoping Morgan takes more of a lead role because Morgan is such an awesome character. Yeah. And he, I feel like since Rick is so gone, mm-hmm. Morgan knows what that's like. So 
bam, bring him back. Yeah, that's a good point. So, I mean... I see that in Morgan. Morgan's kind of like a, a, a like low-key like leader himself, too, because he, he went after Carol, you know, trying to rescue her, because mm-hmm. she was trying to separate, really, from the group, too. Yeah. And, I mean, they ended up running into those uh, the knights. I like him as a leader, but I think that he needs to become more realistic. Yeah. Can't just not kill anyone. Right. Because I feel like... But like you know this guy has a thousand people he can go back to go. And and, and he, he does kill up to a certain point, but it, yeah. it, it takes him a lot because uh, when well, he Carol... he killed it since we've seen him join the group. So when he was with Carol, though, the, the one of the last episodes before this uh, um, premiere, uh, he uh, he actually went to go kick Carol. There was this guy that was shooting Carol like in her arm and leg, and he was just going to finish her off, but then Morgan showed up, and he just like blasted him up. So he did kill. Yeah, but that's too late. I don't think so. That's what I'm saying. It's way too late. He killed and shot her in the chest. Shot her in the head. I feel like this is the perfect season for him. What happens? Because at the same time, because you can show what Morgan, more or less the transformation of Morgan now. Rick is downgrading. Morgan can upgrade in the sense of a new hierarchy of villain. Like you've got a new status. Morgan knows this villain, this villain range. He's going to meet Negan and be like, this guy is just evil. He needs to die. Yeah. Maybe that's a good turning point for Morgan. I don't Hopefully. know. Hopefully. But it, it, there's 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 some good variables for this. He season. was pretty evil in himself. I don't think that he's going to see that. Cause mm. he was pretty vicious his, in, in his own right. Well, yeah, but it was more vicious, more more uncontrolled rage. Whereas to Negan is just flat out out for the kill. Like yeah. that's what that's he the is. Same thing. Same difference. No, it's there's rage out of emotion. And Negan's just doing it because he enjoys it. Like, I'm having a good time doing this. You want to die too? He said he right. enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. No, no. This is rage. Rage, control. Morgan said that he liked doing it. That was his thing. Out of rage. Rage! Like, it doesn't matter. I, mean, I don't Morgan, think he's going to do that. Morgan was a broken man, man, though. I think it's going to sure. be a woman that steps up. I don't think it's going to be a man that steps up. And, and you know what? I could see like, that happening, it, too. It, you know, and, and I would agree with that, too, because, like, one of those uh, opening seasons uh, where Carol was kind of sniping everyone while everyone was getting cra- their heads cracked over, opened the vat, and, like, their throats slashed. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, that to me was, like, I don't know what season that was, if that was, like, was like five or six or five. something. Yeah. Yeah, season five. That to me has got. Yeah, that's the bar, you know, for like the yeah. season premieres for me. I think we got a new bar. We got a new bar. <laughs> you know what? That's far Honestly, below it. I don't. I don't feel like the, that. That's so you're talking about when all the people when they, everyone's lined up in that slaughterhouse Ter- and they're getting their terminus. Uh, terminus, yeah. terminus. Yeah, they're getting their next slice. 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 I think that's right below this one um, because if we didn't care about any of those people, and the the when it got down to the main character, it, main character, it didn't happen. So this one knocked out two people that everyone cared about that had they thought that they would have some type of future with. Okay, I feel so you. So I feel like the bar has been raised, and that one's right, right there, right there, right there. Right, I agree. Yeah. I can just yeah. say as far as like standout characters, you know, you talk about lead woman or something. You know, I think it's possible because look at what they did with Carol, and so it could definitely be yeah. like uh, easily Michonne or you know maybe Maggie, you know. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Maggie don't, would be a comeback because Maggie would be a comeback. I'm curious what they're gonna do with the kid too, because it's like that's also something that wasn't written before, and so it's just the I mean, baby, huh? Huh? The baby? Yeah. Oh, her baby. Her baby. Her baby. Yeah, her oh, baby. I think they should go ahead and let that go. I, I, I yeah, honestly feel like they might, should too. Yeah, we already got a baby. Because I mean, that, 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 nothing with it. That yeah. would like tr- like traumatize her even more too. Yeah, L- losing your man and then losing your baby, and it's just like forget it, man. Like yeah, I'm so just gonna go kill her. Her. She doesn't have like a whole lot to lose at that point. Like he took everything from her. She has the ultimate motive. So that would actually be really awesome. Yeah, you know, ah, she would kill herself. Kill her. You need, you need. I think we need someone that's. I think she's a good soldier. I don't think she's a good leader, especially right now with all that. Mm-hmm. Lose your baby, lose your your husband. Yeah, because they were married. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's a good person to be following to your death. Because mm-hmm. she didn't even remember that they had Daryl. Yeah. They yeah. had a reminder. They have Daryl. We can't do anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think she's a good soldier. I like her. But I don't think that she's going to be the leader. What I'm looking forward to is the Knights. I think yes. it's called the Knights. Yeah, the, yeah, Knights. Knights. the guy yeah. with that tiger. Right. Um, yeah. Ezekiel, I think yeah. his name Ezekiel. is. Ezekiel. And, and see what they do with Jesus. Yeah. That looks really awesome. I want to see, finally, a black man that's 
you know, maybe hopefully he'll survive longer than the season. <laughs> um, that's not like the preacher man. Like, oh, I hated him. Like, can you just kill him? <laughs> right. Why are we keeping him? Yeah. Like, we can kill all the great black ones, but that guy, the preacher man, if you don't let someone eat him, <laughs> I, I really, him. I will, I will lie. I, we talked about this earlier, but I really miss Tyrese. Like, Tyrese was just awesome. He was awesome. Yeah. He wasn't awesome. He was he, cool. He was pretty. They awesome. dumbed his, They dumbed his character down a lot. They did, but I just I would have. I imagine if Tyrese were still like, ah, oh, yeah, uh, rage yeah. moment where he's like out there, he's like, come on, like, bah. I just I miss Tyrese. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he was awesome. But yeah, I mean, we got new characters, new seasons. So yeah, I yeah. Like I'm they, hoping that they, they really give us some new introduce introduce some really good uh, characters as far as like screen presence. Yeah, don't give me any okey doke characters i want yeah. someone like oh who is that i right. think uh, yeah. i think the last couple of seasons they've had too many slow episodes that i think they need to have more of a go 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 again we need to feel like we're in the rage again yeah. like i, I like hope the first AMC, four seasons yeah needs yeah. to be let's yeah. go right you know? yeah yeah so I'm, I'm hoping that that's what they keep up with is the fact that like we just need it's, it's a hustle time that type of thing again i also because only eight episodes we already got through one so there's only seven more so we really they really need to step it up because mm-hmm. honestly it shouldn't take two episodes to tell a story arc. And they they slow down so quickly, just as like they yeah. lose pace, they lose steam. And they were saying it's gonna be like comedic, and I'm like, mm, I don't need that. I yeah. don't need it to be funny. Just all drama, all drama, all action. Oh, yeah, the drama is what kept me in there. Like the yeah. drama, like getting attached to these characters. You don't want them to die, but right. Game of Thrones is. Let's have fun. Yeah, Game of Thrones, yeah, man. I, honestly, yeah. I don't care about the, the actual actors. I don't care about the characters. I want the story to storyline to be good. That's all I care about. If the storyline is garbage, I don't care who's in there. You can keep the same seven people. If the storyline is garbage, I'm not watching it. So I need the story to be good. If they're going to kill off some more people, replace them with some awesome screen presence people. Yeah. Not yeah. just mediocre people. And I think that, you know, they kind of did us a favor getting rid of two of them. That's a lot less, you know, lines from, you know, that or whatever story arc that they were going to encounter with that. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, we got, we got more room for new people to come in, you know, replace Glenn with this Jesus character, or this Ezekiel with Abraham. I don't say. like calling him Jesus. I don't know. That just bothers me. <laughs> Jesus I'm never going to like this like Jesus. Never going to, no. Jesus. 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 <laughs> Call him Baby J. <laughs> I was never going to like him. Tiny, so. four inch, little infant. He, he, baby, he, I don't little, care what he does. Baby Jesus. <laughs> little Baby Jesus. It's always going to bother me. Einstein. But. He was, he, was, he was an awesome character in, a, in a, the, the comics, so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, and I liked him so far, what they did with him. Like, I mean, he's a, he's a badass escape artist. I mean, when they freaking tossed him in the cell, tied him up the whole nine yards, and he's like eating an apple. He's like, hey, Rick, we've got to talk. I was just like, you dick. <laughs> I was like, get out of here. I'm getting my groove on with my chum. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm curious. I'm very curious. Yeah. See, I'm not a big fan of him, uh, but... You'll we'll learn see. to love them. Yeah, you'll learn to love them. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Yeah. But, so that's the episode, guys, what we thought about it. That's what we're looking forward to. So let us know if you guys agree, disagree, think that we missed something. Let us know. Like, subscribe, share, comment. And uh, we're out. I'm DeAnthony. Adan. Mr. Conch. Peace. Take care, guys. Black coffee matters, I mean, man. It matters, too. I heard coffee. Yeah. It's fighting words right there. Oh, it's fighting words. But you know what? Prove it. We're going to re raise. Okay. Re raise. Okay. Bam. What's that? Empty poster holder. <laughs> There's no way. Let's go.